60 degrees north by Malik Italic, 60 degrees north, 60 degrees north is as much an exploration of wild expanses as it is a bereaved sun, a search for catharsis. Exploring the wildernesses of the northern parallel latitude. Italic experiences unforgiving landscapes and beautiful places are peppered with strong gut communities and a sense of isolation relentless. The very best travel in nature writing often has a deeply personal story at its heart and Talik shares this journey to understand his father. An unknown quantity in his home of Shetland is shared in deeply honest and intimate detail, a book with real strength and sincerity. Climbing Days by Dan Richards Climbing Days Dan Richards sets out to celebrate the remarkable life of his great-great-aunt Dorothy Pilly the Mountaineer. Pilly was one of the mountaineers pioneering most of her day, yet for some reason the story of this female adventurer has been lost over time. However, a rediscovered following a copy of her memoir, Climbing also called Days, Richards is able to follow in her footsteps across Europe's mountains, with the book as his guide. In doing so, this proud great-great-nephew places Dorothy where she belongs, in the vanguard of 20th century trailblazers. White Sands by Jeff Dyer White Sands Jeff Dyer, the man who brought us the superlative yoga for people who cannot be bothered, returns to travel writing, and about time too. Expect customary wit and insight as Dyer explores the human need to travel through 10 journeys that take in Mexican deserts, Beijing as Forbidden City, Gauguin as Ghost and everything in between. The Shark and the Albatross by John H. Is in The Shark and the Albatross, John H. Is and if the name is not immediately familiar, this work as a leading wildlife filmmaker will be. Was H. Is and behind the camera for landmarks such as Frozen Planet series, Life, Yellowstone and The Hunt. His new book gives us an insight into just what it takes nature as secret to tell stories on film. This is no technical manual though. Rather the reminiscences of a truly passionate naturalist and knowledgeable personal who makes the planet relatable and magical. There is as much joy in these pages as there are in his films, and that's no small feat. Go set a Watchman by Harper Lee Go set a Watchman Go set a Watchman was destined to be a controversial. The long, lost sequel that To Kill a Mockingbird opinion from readers divided when it was published last year as readers were forced to come to terms with the evolution of much-loved characters such as Scout and Atticus Finch. Debate has intensified since only Harper Lee as death a few months ago and the book as paperback release gives anyone who has yet to read it the chance to see what all the fuss is about. GCSE English will never be the same again. Crisis by Frank Gardner Crisis, the BBC, as security correspondent, Frank Gardner, has decided considerable to draw on his personal experience and insider knowledge to create a visceral and intelligent page-turner. Luke Carlton, the hero of Crisis, gives Lee Child as Jack Reacher a run for his money in his debut outing as a commando, turned MI6 agent in a race against time to save London from an unimaginably awful terror attack. This is perfectly paced thriller worthy of space in your suitcase this summer. The Trains Now Departed by Michael Williams The Trains Now Departed seems our love affair with rail travel is far from over, or the golden age, at least, rather than the overpriced. Standing room only commuter hell many of his experience daily. Michael Williams collects tales of Britain's lost trains in this wonderfully evocative book. You can't fail to swear swept up in the romance of it all as the men and women who created operated and traveled on since departed these trains are brought back to life by Williams' magical prose.
A History of the World in 500 Walks by Sarah Baxter A History of the World in 500 Walks Perfect for Father's Day on June 19th. Sarah Baxter has put together a beautiful book that demands to be sipped slowly, like a well-aged whiskey. This fascinating selection of 500 walks leads you step-by-step -step through history, from the ancient world to the present day. It hits exactly the right balance of fact and practical details and is filled with beautiful illustrations that will make dedicated even the armchair traveler most want to get up and take a walk themselves. The Muse by Jesse Burton The Muse for many of you, there's no need for me to recommend this book at all. You'll read from the author of The Miniaturist and swear off like a shot to your local book emporium. Still, I'm going to say it, read this book. Jesse Burton turns in another unforgettable tale packed with character, intrigue and suspense, Spain split between 1930s and 1960s London. It is an accomplished and highly enjoyable novel burden that test is no one-hit wonder.